Hello everyone, I just wanted to give a quick update what I've been up to. My sons were very inspired. I have a six-year-old and an eight-year-old and they wanted to try to build a model. So we went out to a local store and got these Ravel Snap Tight Harrier GR7s together. They were a little bit more complicated than I thought for a Snap Tight. They actually had two sprues in them and quite a lot of bombs, but my kids had a lot of fun putting them together. And I told them they didn't have to rush, that sometimes a model takes more than one day. They wanted to try to do it all at once, and it was nice and sunny out, so go outside and play. We'll finish this up later. Um, you know, they're not perfect, but the, the most important part was my kids had a lot of fun. This one was my seven-year-old's, and I just noticed that he's missing the rear stabilizer, but... He's been playing with it, so he's been having a good time, so that doesn't matter. Maybe I'll glue the other ones on. And this one was my eight-year-old's one with the landing gear. These just snapped together. They were really cheap. And we watched some videos on Harriers, how they take off, you know, vertically. They really got into that. They liked it. And uh, they have lots of other snap-together kits that I might try. My kids might try later on, but they had a good time. Like I said, it was all in fun, and... I just happened to notice he was missing that piece. We have kittens now, so we have two. So I'll look around for it. It'll, it'll turn up eventually. It's in the house somewhere. But, you know, it's all about having fun. Even if he does lose some pieces, it's still an airplane he built, and he had a good time doing it. And the, the younger son really likes it and would like to get another one. The older son is similar to me, and he uh, was very trying on his patience, but he enjoyed himself. Um, the other things I've been up to... Uh, my back and neck have been bothering me, so I haven't been in the garage too much the last few days. But I started work on the, the Messerschmitt 109. And uh, this was just a mock-up with some tape to see what it's going to kind of look like. I do that to see what I'm, you know. I've got the uh, cockpit assembled. And uh, there's a lot more smaller pieces on this sprue so it's really good because I'm practicing not losing them on my garage floor and uh, my airbrush did come in um, and I've practiced a bit on it with a side model I end up getting this filter down below because I have a pretty big air compressor so I got a, uh, uh, a mini filter to catch the water I do have a uh, water tr or you have one coming off the compressor but if I, I don't have a paint booth, so I've kind of been painting outside on a work temporary workbench outside. So I've been having to use my hose and reel. So this, <clears throat> when it comes out of the compressor, the air is pretty hot. It's got to go through the reel to cool off. It starts cooling off by the time it gets there because I got quite a lot of hose in case I have to do stuff outside. But um, this helps a lot. There was no moisture that got into the paint. And... Uh, I think I paid oh I think I paid thirty dollars for this airbrush on Amazon and this was about four bucks on eBay and uh, I'm really happy with it it's a double action um, it doesn't have the same knob down here for controlling the uh, paint but it came with a uh, quick release that I can take off or on and you can control the air here as well so I was just using that the, it, another nice feature that it came with, that came with this plastic case over here, but it also came with two other needles, which was one of the reasons I ordered it, in case 0 0.5, and if I get it out, a 0 0.2 needle, and so that was nice. And I practiced taking it apart, and it took a lot longer to get it back together my first try. I got trying to get the pieces in and everything, but I was able to do it, and I tried it, and it worked again. So and this is what I was talking about, a larger compressor. I have a, it's just a Craftsman. I've had this one forever. I think it's a 20-gallon compressor. No, 15-gallon, three-horsepower, oilless compressor. But I do have a air filter coming off it, and I can hook up right here, or I have a larger hose with a hose reel over here and my garage is a bit dirty and I did practice airbrushing a little bit on this Viper model that I found up in the garage trying different techniques with it and things like that so that's what I've been up to 
mess around with the airbrush, I definitely will use it on this 109 that I started to build. And I just wanted to show off my son's kits. They had a great time. I had fun. I sat between them and we put two TV trays up and we just kind of put it together, each of us one at a time, you know, and if they got, if they had a hard time pushing one of the snap together pieces in, I would help them, but the majority of the work was done by them and I'm glad they liked it. So I'll let you guys go. Just want to show you what I was up to. Keep modeling.